YouTube, this is Omid and here bringing you the last of my Black Ops 2 Zombies idea videos where I will be discussing the various ideas that I'd like to see in Black Ops 2 Zombies. Today I'll be bringing you the gameplay characteristics that I would like to see in Black Ops 2 Zombies. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the general strategy that players use in Black Ops 2 Zombies. Um, throughout the various generations of zombies we have seen in different strategies and um, fashions of how to survive the zombies in the best way between each game. In World of War it was definitely the camping strategy. E each map um, we picked out a various spot that would be the easiest to hold out against the zombies for as long as possible and it did that. Such as the Kawak and Duris, the Parim and Verukt, one of the huts in Shinonuma. We always find a place to huddle down and hang out as long as possible. This games from Black Ops to the training strategy um, in every map, you know, big or small, um, the, that, the strategy to survive the longest was to pick your spot and then run around in circles. It was, it was getting the zombies into a nice train behind you to maximise the efficiency. Even in the very close quarters map, such as 5, that we see here, that would have definitely been a camping map in um, World of War, we there are still ways to train like such as in here where I was running around the war room. Okay, so this brings the question: on What is the strategy going to be in Black Ops Two Zombies? Um, so my personal opinion is that it's going to um, be a sort of scavenger or nomad type strategy where we run around the huge maps the Treyarch is promising us, um, not staying in one place for very long. So the map, um, that. They have so the this so this is the map that I think will be released at the start of Black Ops Two Zombies, which will be the first Nomad map. Okay, it's going to be called Transit, um, and it's around ten times seems as big as Moon in surface area, um, but it's but it's not one solid map. It's split between eight villages, one city, an army barracks, and a Group Nine Three Five facility. Okay, and you start off in one of the villages, and then you have to make your way to the various other parts of the map, taking advantage of each um, place. Now, to take advantage uh, to for this strategy of Nomad, um, there's a heat system in the villages, so how it works is every round you spend in a village, or uh, any location, increases the heat level of that place by one, and every five rounds you don't spend in it, will decrease the heat level by one. Now the heat, la now it, it changes the traditional zombies way of speed and health being determined by the rounds. In Black Ops 2, heat and the heat level will be determined, the heat level determines the speed that the, zo the zombies run at and the round determines their health. Um, with the heat levels between one and 10 for each location. So a zombies might be sprinting in one place but they might still be walking in another because you haven't been there yet. Um, at level n heat level 9, the zombies will go at the speed they did in Verruckt or Call of the Dead when George Romero charged them. And at level 10, they will sprint faster than the player, no matter what weapon they're holding, and even if they're sprinting, they will sprint faster. So basically, the strategy of Nomad is to go from village to village, um, holding it off in there you know, until the zombies become unbearable and then switching to the next village where they're going slower and more manageable. So always adapting to take advantage of the situation. Okay, now to get between the villages um, and areas, you have to open doors and can collect components to repair a transport device, which are the only ways to get between the various villages through the wastelands. So there's four transport devices available in the map. A car, it's a, um, a simple and easy to build vehicle. It only seats four though, so for big eight player lobbies you'll need to repair two of them. And it's not possible to upgrade it in any way. Then there's the bus, which is more expensive and harder to build, but it seats an entire team of eight. And it can be upgraded by mounting light machine guns, rocket launchers, um, spikes, and maybe electric defences around the side of it. Okay, to get you through the wasteland. The helicopter, you can only find these in the city, the barracks, and the Group 935 facility. It's expensive to build, but unlike the cars which have to travel in set roads which link up the villages and cities, it can travel to any location. And the teleporters which are found in the Group 935 facility, which can be transported using the helicopter to any other location 
for a quick and, and free way to get between the villages in later rounds. So the general objective is spawn in the village, get the tr get transport to the city, get to the helicopter. Now all the villages and the city are linked together by a network of roads which you have to navigate successfully. Obviously in the loading screen there will be a map that shows you how the various villages are linked up with each other and the city in the middle. And the helicopter can bypass these and get to any city village. It's okay. And the army barracks in the Group 935 facility are only accessible by helicopter, so you'll have to get to the city before you get to these places. And depending on the village or the location, there's different resources which suit different play styles. So the general idea is each of the villages house one of the traditional zombie perks that we've seen in World of War and Black Ops from Quick Revive to Mule Kick. They'll also feature viable submachine guns, pistols and shotguns off the walls. In the city, any new perks that Treyarch will be introducing to Black Ops 2 will be added, as well as viable assault rifles. Also, the, the, this is the only place where you'll be able to repair a bus or, or a helicopter. In the barracks, there will be bar viable light machine guns and explosive weapons, such as the Law, the AT4, RPG, stuff like that. And in the Group 935 facility, there are viable wonder weapons. However, the, obviously these are incredibly expensive to buy, and most players would probably just prefer to go for the box instead. Um, and the wasteland is the area between the villages and the uh, uh, city and the barracks and stuff like that. Um, and it's the way to get from one place to another. Um, sprint, um, w when you're traveling through it, sprinting zombies will attempt to attack your car and you'll have to defend it. If you're just in a car, you'll have to defend it with whatever weapons you have at the time, but buses will be able to mount light machine guns and various other things to get around the area safely. Helicopters will be able to fly over the zombies and the teleporters will be able to go straight to location without any risks in between. Um, the AI will control the vehicle itself, but obviously um, while you're concentrated on defending. Okay, so basically that's how it is. Also, also there's other parts that are that make each of the villages and cities more indiv individual. So um, such as maybe barbed wire building equipment and also depending on where you are the zombies might be slightly different so for example in the army barracks you'll be um, against soldier zombies which are equipped with body armor so we'll have slightly higher health than other zombies in that round and um, the city might spawn more zombies than the village um, per round green 935 facility um, might be a place where special zombies appear more frequently than in other areas which is a risk you'll have to take um, to get, gain access to the teleporters and wonder weapons. Um, so that's basically it. So the, so that's the map transit. In my opinion, that's what it could look like. Um, so you have to get between the villages, always changing your play style, always seeing new environments and stuff like that to deal with the zombie horde for as long as possible because holding off, off in any one location will definitely get you killed because they'll spend faster than you and as their health increases, it won't work. You won't be able to train it and basically you hold off, then move on. Okay, so the final feature I'd like to see added to zombies is a map editor. Now, one of the great advantages of the PC zombies is the, cust is the custom apps that have become very popular on it and there's copious numbers of YouTube videos that list them. So basically, this is a feature that's similar to the Forge mode in the Halo games, where you'll be able to create your own map. Um, with So you'll be able to create your own custom zombie map. Obviously, it'll be a lot more easier than it is to create a custom zombie map. Um, because there'll be drag and drop things like barricade, perk machine, stuff like that. But you can change the layout features, what zombies spawn, and stuff like that. Um, this, I, I feel, will be able to greatly... Um, increase the feedback that players can have in zombies as they be able to create their own zombies maps how they see fit um, and create a great amount of creativity as seen in the PC maps um, on, but this will be open to a much larger audience in the console maps who will be able to create their own maps um, and it, it will be a great way of getting in fan feedback um, for their ideas because um, the zombie team definitely do care about the community a lot and they can look at the um, zombies maps, get uh, custom maps, get ideas, see how popular the ideas they've implemented in their maps are taken up amongst the, the community, which allows a greater amount of feedback. Also, uh, uh, um, it might, uh, there might be a competition in the custom maps where when you upload a map, you can 
make it public and, and and get other people to play it and rate it and maybe at the end of every month with the most popular map um or the most popular five maps are sort of bundled up into a map a zombies map pack and released by treyarch for the general public to buy is it uh, so so because one of the things that console players have is they don't get that many maps you know it's one every month or two you where's this a, a large number of maps will be available for the public to buy or well not buy you guess get, get download for free so it'll be a great way of getting customer feedback um and basically getting everyone in more into zombies because there's definitely a huge amount of creative potential amongst the zombie community everyone's had their ideas for their own zombie map pack maybe even making a zombie map of their house um streets anything like that so yeah well, that, i think a custom map editor would be a very good idea to take full potential of the expansive zombies community okay that's it for my zo um black ops 2 zombie ideas if you have any of your own feel free to leave them in the comments and um, get a, some discussion work it up and i'll leave you with this gameplay from five goodbye